21 points, 15 rebounds, and 15 assists. Let's hear from James Harden. James, I, understandably so, there's been a lot of talk about the offense, but where do you see the improvements that you guys have made on the defensive side of the ball? Huge, huge improvements. I think that's, uh, that's one of the reasons we've been having so much success. Um, I mean, other than our communication, I think it's two things. I think it's us not turning the basketball over, which we had 15 and I had seven. So I can cut down my turnovers for sure. Um, and then rebounding the basketball. You know, we do those two things at a high level and it's going to be, you know, we're going to be in, in every single game, um, you know, win an advantage. So it's just those two things. And I got to do a better job of, of you know, uh, making better passes and, um you know, less turnovers, which I can correct. Your first introduction to Nets Knicks rivalry. I know it's different without fans, uh, a, a large number of fans being in the building. But, but how did you feel about you know the game and the energy overall? Um, I got a little taste of it tonight. You know, in the sense of uh, just these New York fans, especially the Knicks fans, uh, you can hear them. You know, I don't know how many fans we have here in the building total. But you heard a lot of Knicks fans, um, and you know we understand the tradition. And but I'm just a part of. I'm just happy to be a part of um, of the tradition and uh, of the rivalry. And um, you know, on this Nets team and, and the rhythm and the way we're playing. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, James, these last two games have been really uh, physical battles. They've come down to just a couple of plays at the end. What do you think this says about the toughness uh, that you guys have developed uh, during this stretch? We have to have that. You know, we can't be the pretty, you know, shot-making, easy-going team that um, that we've been. You know, we gotta we gotta get dirty a little bit. We gotta get gritty. We gotta, uh, you know, do the the small things, the, the diving on the floor, taking charges, the the being physical, the boxing out, the small things, because ultimately our skills and and our talents are are, are pretty pretty high. You know, if we do those those small things, which we've been doing, but we can't lose sight of that, and we got to continue that. Um, and like I said, it's gonna be pretty tough to beat us, just because if we're showing how physical we are, and we're making shots, it's like what can you do? Bruce Beck with NBC New York. James, when you fill up the stat sheet the way you do, do you think about that during the course of the game or does everything just come instinctively and you just focus on what you need to do to help this team win? Whatever it takes. Like rebounding, you know, I try to go help, especially when we're small. Um, I have, I know I have to go rebound the basketball a little bit more. I know I have to put my body on bigs a little bit more to because I'm not – athletic enough or big enough to be able to jump with these bigger guys. So I got to use my body, just being crafty around that rim as far as rebounding. And then playmaking is just, you know, getting my teammates shots and getting our bigs uh, easy opportunities at the rim. Um, and then obviously, you know, offensively not being as efficient as I, as I want to be, but that'll come. And uh, that's the least of my worries, least of my concerns. I'm just excited and, and, and happy to continue this journey with these guys. And uh, we're playing some pretty, pretty good basketball right now. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, James, you guys had that pretty comfortable lead, I guess, for most of the game, and then the Knicks made that late run to, to nearly erase all of it. I guess, what do you think you guys got away from that that allowed them to get back in the game? We just got relaxed. You know, we had a, a number of times to where we can put them away. You know, we just didn't make the right plays or whatever, or they made shots. You know, they're a feisty team. They made some, they got some, you know, shot makers. Uh, obviously, we know how, you know, well, Julius Randle has been playing. Uh, but, you know, we had opportunities to, to, you know, make shots and go up 20 or whatever, and we didn't do it. And they came and, and knocked down a couple threes and then, you know, quickly got it going. Um, you know, so give them credit. They made shots. They played well. Uh, but when it was time to close out the game, we did what was necessary to win. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, James, you got a lot out of the pick and roll early with Jeff. Um, what did you see from their defense early, and did it change as the, the game went on and, and closing things off for you there? A uh, little, yeah, yeah. We we scored five, six, seven times on that on that pick and roll. You know, so each game is going to be a little bit different. You know, you watch film, you figure out what type of team they are, what they like to do. Uh, this team, you know, loves to pack the paint, and um, 
their bigs were in a catch, you know, so Jeff had the pocket pass and, you know, he was doing an unbelievable job of finishing. Um, each game is going to be different. You know, we got, we're spaced out where teams like to guard us and we're spaced out where teams like to pack the paint and give a shot opportunity. So each game you just read it and you take what the defense gives you and you go out there and just, uh, you know, just, I guess, play to your knowledge.